Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. So today I'm going to teach you how to fix Microsoft Edge always crashing on your Windows 10 device. So I'm going to show you the different method which you can use to resolve that problem. So let's say you try to open a specific browser and, and all the time Microsoft Edge keeps crashing or it keeps, keeps on receiving an error message. So the first thing we, we, we need to do or need to check is to open your Microsoft Edge and when I go to settings and more here on the three on your right hand side you have this option called settings and more which is the three dots just click that and go to settings so here in settings so I'm going to go to reset settings so when I go to reset settings here and I click restore settings to their default value so I'm going to click on that and here you can see it gives us the option or it's going to tell us what is going to happen so this will reset your startup page new tab page, search engine, and P tab. It will also disable all extension and clear temporary data such as cookies. So just click reset. So by clicking reset, sometimes it is also advisable to restart your device and check if that problem has been resolved. But if you think the problem has not been resolved, what you can also do is to do the following. So we need to clear, you need to go to your settings again and on our privacy search, and services we have to clear our browsing data so just try and see if there are some data that was not cleared so here we can decide to say we want to clear everything all time here you have the time range we can choose choose for the last hour so i want to clear all time i want to clear my browsing history download history cookies and other site data cached image and files so you also have some option which has been unchecked like the password autofill and site permission i can decide to click clear the autofill and also all data from the previous version of microsoft edge if you've um, updated or upgraded to microsoft edge so here i'm going to click, click clear now so it's going to clear everything so this so now everything has been cleared so if you've cleared this you can as well try and see if that resolved your problem or not and if that did not resolve your problem we also have the option to actually check which version of Microsoft Edge we are using. So you just try and just click on about Microsoft Edge from your settings and it will check for any available update and install the update immediately. So after doing all this and you feel that the problem has not have not been solved, what we can do, we can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge and install it again. So here you can see the version of Microsoft Edge you are using. So you can go to the website of Microsoft and check what is the latest version of Microsoft Edge. So what I need to do right now, if I think the problem has not been resolved, I can decide to uninstall Edge and reinstall it again. So you have two options of actually uninstalling Edge and reinstalling it again. One, the option is uninstalling just for yourself and then reinstalling it again, or you can uninstall and reinstall it for the whole device which means anyone that logs in we have a new edge that has been um, reinstalled so what i need to do right now let me just close edge and i'm going to open my file explorer here in file explorer i'm going to enter, enter the following here so i'm going to search for this folder which is called the microsoft microsoft edge so let me see i'm going to search for microsoft microsoft edge um, i think it's the this here so we can see we have the microsoft edge with the hw e key so just open this and then delete everything which are stored here so what i'm going to do just do select a and then try to delete everything from here so right now everything has been deleted so after i'm removing everything from this folder here in your um, app data but mind you, if you're not seeing this app data on your Windows 10, let me just go to Kelvin here. If you're not seeing the app, you can see that the app data is not being displayed. So what you need to do is to go to view. And here we have the option called hidden items. So if I check the hidden items, you can see that the app data will be displayed because the app data is actually some of the files are hidden because uh, Microsoft or your Windows, you should not just delete everything or delete some things from your Windows it will stop functioning so before you delete anything from mostly from the app data you should make sure you know what you are doing very well so what i need to do right now is to reinstall or reconfigure microsoft edge by doing the following so go to your start menu here and type microsoft 
look for Microsoft or PowerShell. So I'm going to start the PowerShell um, ISA as an administrator. So just run this as an administrator. Click yes. So after starting PowerShell, so I will actually prefer to use this option so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to paste this. So you can actually, I'm going to leave this on my on this page so that if you want to uninstall and reconfigure PowerShell. So what is going to happen is, because you know, Power, the Microsoft Edge is actually installed by default. So by doing this, it's going to actually reconfigure that package of Microsoft Edge from the Microsoft Store. So I'm going to just run this. And it's going to take it's going to take some very few time to everything. So you can see we're performing the operation, the operation completed for, so operation completed successfully. So if I go back to that folder, let me go back to that folder I just deleted, and let me see. And I go back to the folder. So here I'm going to search for that folder I deleted, which is the Microsoft just Edge. You can see that everything has been reconfigured again by just running that script. So I would advise you to restart your device. By restarting your device and try again, I believe now it will fix the problem. But if you think the problem still has not been fixed, what you can actually do is to go to the website of Microsoft Edge, uh, website of Microsoft or go to Google. And let me just go to, let me open my Edge browser and go to Google. I go into Google, and you can see that my edge has been reconfigured, and I will just look for Microsoft Edge. So you can see it says download Microsoft Edge. So I can re-download the Microsoft Edge from this website and from the website of Google or for uh, Microsoft, and then just reinstall Microsoft Edge on my device again. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin. Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Give me a thumb up also for taking my time to create this video. It doesn't cost you more to just give me a like. And thank you very much one, once more. I'll see you next time. Bye.